Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm Chris from Over the Top. Uh, last time, or a couple videos ago, I uh, restored a uh, axe head. Real awesome job. You guys gotta, I'll put the link down below. Go check it out, or maybe a, a card up top or something. But uh, definitely go check that out. It turned out pretty amazing. So uh, keep it in the same theme. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I have a, uh, I picked up some nice uh, hand saws at uh, like a restore kind of thing like a used uh, store and uh, really nice saws I really like them uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a restoration on these uh, it should be nice I can probably clean up these nuts that are on here uh, it might be a little tricky to get out it rusted up a little bit it was uh, at my uh, shed there for a little bit too long and the uh, chemicals in there from uh, refining gold out of computer parts uh, kind of ate away at it but that's okay we'll uh, take care of it and we'll get that all off so anyway, yeah, it's a, it's a nice saw. The handle's awesome. Just have a look here. Hopefully you guys can see the uh, the nice details in the uh, nuts here and the nice pattern on the uh, handle. So anyway, yeah, we'll get started on this. The first thing I need to do is just remove the uh, hardware off the handle and remove the blade completely from that so we can get a good thorough job on cleaning it. So let's go ahead. Let's get this uh, taken apart. And then we can uh, start on sand and at least this time it uh, should be a little quicker if you watched the last video I uh, started doing it by hand until I realized I had a uh, palm sander nearby so I'll be using that for sure on this one actually these are not giving me a hard time at all that's kind of nice at least getting the back side off them anyway So yeah, I'm going to do the same thing with this saw. I'm going to try to get up to a nice polish uh, look again. These are not going to be saws I'm going to use. These are going to be, again, wall hangers. Uh, probably when I get around to building an office down here, I will uh, try to get those, uh, put this up inside the office. It's coming. There we go. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Yeah, so there we go. The handle's all uh, removed. Yeah, it looks like this will clean up nice. I don't see uh, too many nasty dings in it. So that'll be nice to redo. Yeah, a little bit of pitting on here. Should be able to get most of that out. Uh, a lot of the stuff in here. I won't have to worry about too much. I'll get it as nice as I can, but it's going to be under the handle. Uh, I'm going to remove this tape. Yeah, to protect my fingers for now, but I need to uh, get it cleaned up. So it looks like all the teeth are intact. I'll probably end up, these will probably end up getting smoothed out uh, just from the sanding. But again, it's not going to be a saw museum, so I'm not going to worry about being sharp and usable. You know, you can pick up a nice saw uh, relatively cheap nowadays, so it's just a matter of getting your hands on the nicer older ones with the nice fine details. Yeah, let's start. I got a used piece here. It still looks like it's in pretty good shape. So I will be using the, uh, the orbital sander here uh, to start. And uh, hopefully that... Uh, should make quick work of it. I'm not going to strip this. There's not it's a lot of that rust is uh, just mainly uh, on the surface. We'll see how it goes with the uh, 80, whether or not I'll need to drop down to 60 or not. Hopefully, uh, it's all good. So yeah, yeah, I actually uploaded the video, the last one there with my new microphone, and uh, well, it turns out you can still hear that lens. So it looks like I'm going to be in market for a new lens. It's just a, a multi-purpose lens. It's a good lens, but it's uh, just noisy. But uh, I'm just using a prime lens now, so it'll be a little quieter. But anyway, I'm going to lose you. Uh, you don't have to listen to the sanding. I'll probably cut to some music so you don't have to listen to this. But let's go ahead and do some sanding. Okay, it looks like the uh, <clears throat> 80 grit worked okay to get most of the rest off. But uh, just looking at it, I'm going to have to go a little bit. I'm going to have to start with the 60 
and then uh, work my way back up to that again. I'm gonna find my rag here and or my old glove. Get most of this iron oxide wiped up, or you know rust. <laughs> All right, let's get some 60 grit on here. Well, oh, that'll freak you out. A couple low spots in here, high spot there. Not too bad though. Yeah, that uh, low spot coincides with that high spot there. Probably the same here, yeah. So it was probably giving a couple good dings along the way. They're not very uh, deep, so I should be able to even them out by sanding. Just be a little thinner in that area, but it should be even. All right, so we got the rust off of there. Let's switch her up to another piece of sandpaper. Yeah, every time I hit the teeth there, it just chews it up till it uh, till it smooths out eventually. Again, I'm not too worried about it uh, being functional. I mean, I'm sure by the end of the day, I could probably go ahead and uh, file them out and get it sharp if I ever wanted to, and uh, re-bend them out. Just be a little thinner. That's all. Try make it a little sharper. Okay, here we go again. What I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to take off those teeth. I'm going to just file them down. Like I said, I don't need it to be functional. And all it's doing now is just chewing my paper up. So the more I can get those, the uh, scissor-like teeth out, I'll be saving my saw. For my uh, sandpaper, mind you. I never received the memo that uh, hand saws are made out of kryptonite. <laughs> I have been going at 60 grit for hours and hours just trying to get the smallest of scratches that it's taken me forever. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to uh, give this last little bit here and then I'm going to try it with the 80. I got a better grade 80 grit and I uh, thought I'd give that a try and see if it uh, works a little better than this uh, sandpaper. It's not very good sandpaper. It's probably more used for wood. <laughs> Be so bad if the palm sander was doing its job but it's just not uh it's just not panning out i'm gonna have to let him go <laughs> you're fired sander well i think it's time to try some uh 80 grit see how that uh how that works up against this Again, the goal is that each time you go up a grit, so from 60 to 80, 80 to 100, you have to get the previous grit sand marks out. So I'm doing 80 now. I got to make sure I get every one of those 60 grit out. I mean, I ran into that with the axe that I have one scratch. I don't know where it came in, but uh, it never came out. And the end product, it's still kind of there. So I, I'm going to go back over it, like I said, and uh, probably go down as far as I can to get rid of that scratch and then work my way back up again. But uh, that's a lot easier to do than this stuff. <laughs> a 
Okay, so I'm gonna do uh, finish off this side real quick. This side's a lot smoother than the other side, so it should go pretty quick. And then I'll move up to my 100 grit. Hopefully this won't take long. <laughs> Okay, so we're moving right along on this. We're doing pretty good. I had a piece of sandpaper up here to remind me what grid I was on, but apparently that disappeared. <laughs> here it is. So we just finished up the 150, and so we're going to move up. Let's change the grid up. Get everything moved around here. So I believe I have a 220. Yeah, there's the 150. Okay, so we're going to go to 120, or sorry, 220 grit, and sand it. Um, you know, I don't think it's going to come out uh, shiny as the uh, axe head uh, right now anyway. The steel is just too hard. It's uh, not coming out. Uh, the lines aren't coming out as good as I had hoped. It's just, like I said, too hard, and it's hard to get from one to the other to get everything moving. I should clean up my desk here. It's getting pretty messy, but that's okay. Uh, first, I gotta wipe off the uh, protective coating of WD-40 I put on it. Uh, I'm into the next day now. I was working on it last night, and uh, it's just so much elbow grease has got to go into it. That it takes a long time, so I uh, just kind of finished up sanding the 150 last night and packed it in. Can't run too late, or the uh, noise of the sander thing will bug the neighbors. So we're okay. So everything's looking pretty good. I find. Uh, I use the uh, hand sander first, and then uh, I just go over it by hand to finish it off. Just uh, it gets a little better, uh, get into the details and get the uh, the big cracks the sander can't get out. I find that's been working pretty good so far, so I'll keep that up until I uh, get down to the actual uh, wet sanding. So once again, I'll just lay it down and uh, put my clamp on it and then work this half and then go back to this half and then flip her over and do the other side again I'm using that block of wood on here just to make sure I don't uh, scratch it up So everything's going pretty good here with the uh, the sanding. Uh, it's, it still took a long time just because of the, uh, the hardness of the steel. Just uh, takes a while to get rid of all those old sand marks. But anyway, we're ready to uh, head up to 1,000 grit sandpaper and do a nice uh, wet sand. I already did a 600 wet sand and uh, everything's looking good. Everything, most of the sand marks look like they're out. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch it up to 1,000 grit uh, sandpaper. Do a nice wet sand on that, then move to 12. Uh, I got 15, then uh, 2,000, and then 3,000 grit. So this should polish up nice, I'm hoping. And uh, then I think when I'm done this project, I might just uh, touch up my little axe head there and uh, be all done with that. Uh, so yeah, having that extra 3,000 and 2,000 grit sandpaper will make a big difference. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change my bucket of water out. Uh, let's get the 600 grit, because any of the grits of the 600 will be left in that uh, bucket. I don't want to transfer that 600 back onto here when I'm doing a thousand or I'll leave uh, scratch marks from that. Okay, uh, let's get going. Let's uh, sand this out and uh, yeah, let's get this thing shiny. Yeah, so I didn't have any 1200 or sorry thousand grit. I thought I did, but anyway, I had some 1200 to, uh, to 1500 these little pads here that I used. Uh, they work pretty good. They were all right, but uh, now I'm going to move up to the uh, 1500. Again, I uh, I spray down each side before I uh, turn it over, just because it, it rusts so fast. So I got to get it uh, protected while I'm doing the other side because it takes so long. But anyway, I uh, changed the water up. Uh, what I have noticed, because I'm oiling each side, as I go along the edges, I'm picking up the oil from the other side, and it's coming onto the, this side. So I've just added a little bit of soap to the water, just to see if that helps. So we're going to wipe off the uh, 
WD-40 on this side. And then I get going again on the uh, 1500 grit, then 2000, and then 3000. That's looking pretty good. Uh, it's coming out a lot better than I thought I would. So that's good. It's uh, already looking pretty darn shiny. So I think we're actually going to get the mirror finish on this one. There's a bit of light pitting up in this area. Most of it's going to be covered by the handle, I think, but uh, just couldn't get it out. It's just so uh, superficial. Like, it's kind of deep, and uh, there's just a lot of material to remove there. Okay, so we are all done with the 1500. So now we're going to uh, move up to the 2000 grit. It's looking pretty darn good. Just uh, let me wipe it off here and I'll let you see. It's not perfectly clean yet. There's just residual oil and stuff. But uh, hopefully you can make this out. It looks like it's blind in the camera. Let's see if we can get in a little closer. So yeah, looking pretty good. So now we're going to uh, switch over to the uh, 1500 grit like I mentioned. And uh, let's wet sand that, and then, uh, sorry, 2,000 grit, and then we'll jump up to the 4,000, or, wow, 2,000 grit, then 3,000 grit. I don't have 4,000 grit. <laughs> All right. Well, I probably should have paid more attention to what I purchased, so 2,000 grit's the uh, lowest I got, and that'll be it for the sanding, and then I'll do the polish. Okay, we're all done wet sanding. Uh, it's time to do a polish. Uh, again, I'm going to use uh, cutting compound first. And then I'm going to go with the uh, cleaner wax. So first things first though, i got to wipe off all the grease and oil that's on this stuff. And uh, then we'll get going on the uh, polish or the rubbing compound. Oh man, this is looking good. I wasn't expecting it to turn out this well when I got going. And I'll use a different rag for uh, each wax, that way I'm not contaminating each uh, step. Okay, I'm all done buffing this out with the cutting compound, and I'm going to wipe this off now. I'm going to go ahead and do the, uh, the cleaner wax after that, so uh, I'll be with you in one sec there, and we'll show you the finished product and how it looks, and we'll go from there. Basically, this is what it looked like before I started. This is just another saw, but pretty, uh, pretty rusted up, as you can see. I think you can see. Let me break that out of the way so good. Here we go, that's better. Anyway, as you can see there, it's pretty dark, or pretty, uh, pretty rusty. And then, uh, this is what we have now. Pretty shiny. It's not perfect, but uh, it's definitely uh, better than I thought it was going to turn out. So there we go. Oh. 
before and after. Pretty happy with that. All right, guys, super, super happy how that turned out. I'm uh, pretty happy about that. I mean, it's not perfect, it does have its flaws, but uh, definitely a lot better than I thought it was gonna turn out when I got going on it. Anyway, that's uh, kind of what I was going for. I mean, yeah, it's a mirror. I can see myself pretty good. <laughs> a few pits and stuff, but uh, all in all, not too bad. Um, you know, once again, guys, thanks for being here. It's always uh, awesome that you guys are watching what I'm doing. It's uh, I do appreciate it. I love the comments. Let me Again, let me know if you like these kind of uh, videos, and I'll uh, keep restoring some stuff. So, uh, you're going to have to stick around for part two when we uh, tackle the handle and all the, uh, the little nuts and hardware for it. So, that'll be another fun thing. It, I'm sure it'll be a lot easier being wood. <laughs> Probably go a lot quicker. But, uh, yeah, this... Uh, there's a lot more elbow grease than I was uh, expecting. Uh, you know, I guess I didn't realize how hard the steel was on these uh, saws. Just goes to show how uh, how well built they are, I guess. And to bring back something, you know, that's pretty much uh, destined for the scrap heap. And to bring it back to something like this. Like I said, I dulled the teeth out. Uh, I'm sure I could go ahead and bend them all and sharpen them. But that's not what I was going for for this. I was just going for like a wall hanger kind of look. And uh, that's where I'm leaving it. Alright guys, uh, once again, thanks. Don't forget to head down, hit subscribe, like, share, do all that good stuff. You guys have a good one, and I'll see you at the next video when we're fixing that in.